We all love action, but sometimes we all feel like taking a break and enjoying some calm love stories and character dramas that make our hearts melt. So, if you're one of those people who wants to get their hearts melted, then today I'm bringing you 10 of the best slice of anime of the decade. Without waiting, let's get started. Number 10, Kobayashi Dragon Maid. I know season 2 features an anime fight between dragon girls that makes you think this is an action anime, but Kobayashi Dragon Maid is never about the action. Why do you even need action when you can show the day-to-day -day life of a girl who can transform into a dragon? Things kick off when our main character, Kobayashi, meets a dragon who transforms into a cute girl. <laughs> She claims she arrived from outer space and has no place to live, and since no person with sanity would ever let a dragon be their roommate, Kobayashi decides to let the girl live with him, and along comes the daily lives of Kobayashi and her dragon maid, which are filled with chaotic misadventures. Number 9. Laid Back Camp Tired of all the action adventure of this decade? Then let's go do some camping. Coming in 2021, we have the second season of Laid Back Camp. Here we have Lin Shima, whose ideal vacation is to go camping alone and enjoy the picturesque scenery around her. But this time her camping trip is disrupted when another girl named Nadeshiko Kagamihara joins her. Nadeshiko's goal is to see Mount Fuji, but was lost along the way. Lin helps the girl camp with her and the two decide to spend the night together. I know the anime may come off as a simple camping anime, but you'll be surprised by what it has in store for you. It's got adventure, heartwarming moments, moe moments, and everything you could ever ask for in a cute slice of life anime. Number 8. Nichijo. Slice of life is not all about heartwarming stories. Sometimes it's all about how much it can make you laugh. Instead of cute girls doing cute things, how about cute girls falling into all sorts of mishaps and misadventures? Nichijo is all about the adventures of three high school girls, Mio Naganohara, Yuko Aoi, and Mai Minakami. And trust me, this trio has the worst look in the world. Nichijo combines a lot of funny elements to its story, and it also does a great job in showing and not telling. Kyoto animation was never popular for comedy anime, so if you're hesitant, then wait no more, because Nichijo can make you laugh till your ribs hurt. Well, why don't we have tea now? I'll make some for Nagase. Yeah, that's a good... Number 7. Kokoro Connect Finding no school club they truly fit into, five students decide to make their own club dubbed the Student Cultural Research Club. There are five students, two boys and three girls. And even though they're friends, each of them has a darker secret related to themselves or their past. Now all is smiles and laughs until the five of them begin to switch bodies. Girls, a woman's few words. Hey Nagase. Just what are you doing? Ugh. Secrets are revealed, troubled pasts haunt them back, and amid all of these, the five friends begin to bond together. Kokoro Connect may first show that it doesn't have any clear direction, but once the romance and body switching tension comes in, the anime truly turns into a fast-paced slice of life adventure. If you want to see how a group of friends reveal their most embarrassing secrets to one another, then this is the show for you. She's confessing to you. I'm so no, jealous. That's not what this is. This is. Number 6. Love, Chunibyo, and Other Delusions Yuta Togashi is your average high schooler, eager to escape his embarrassing middle school Chunibyo with a fresh start in a new high school. Enter Takanashi Rika, who is a devoted Chunibyo and knows an embarrassing secret about Yuta. Be enveloped by the flames of darkness and die! Hmm. Seal it away forever! 
How will Yuta face this new threat when she knows about his most embarrassing childhood memories? Love, Chinibyo, and other delusions may start off as a funny slice of life anime until the more emotional moments kick in. When the serious arcs of the anime presents itself, you'll learn what it's like to truly feel alone and how sometimes our delusions can help us move forward in life. If you need a slice of life anime that can make you both laugh and cry, then make sure to give this one a watch. What? Number 5. Tamako Market We saw what it was like when Kyoto Animation decided to make a comedy anime, but now let's turn into what they are good at, making anime about cute girls doing cute things. One day, a girl named Tamako Kitashirakawa stumbles upon a bird named Dera Mochimazi, who comes from a faraway royal country in search of a bride for his prince. But soon this bird gets addicted to the mochi made in Tamako's house, and becomes painfully overweight after eating a lot of them. Now, unable to fly to its home, it decides to stay in Tamako's house. Hey, Aunt! Your boyfriend's been waiting for you downstairs, you know. Aunt, why don't you come down and say hello? Derry, you're an idiot! Tamako Market is filled with a lot of comedy and gags, and more than anything, you get to experience the daily lives of cute girls who keep doing cute things until the end of the series. Number 4. Disastrous Life of Psyche K What is it like to be an emotionally non-teenager with psychic powers? And what if there are tons of friends to annoy you every day when all you want to do is lead a peaceful life? Psyche K is all about a boy who has received psychic powers, but wants to hide them from the world. If you still feel like not giving this one a shot, let me ask you, what makes a comedy anime actually good? The disastrous life of Psyche K provided us with a much needed answer, and that is originality. This is a comedy anime that is dead set on not using already existing tropes, but still manages to do what it does best with completely unique concepts. It combines supernatural elements with comedy elements to give an anime show you can binge watch in one night. Number 3. The Ancient Magnus Bride Chise Hattori is a 15-year-old girl who is about to be sold in a slave market, and she is a person who never knew love and affection throughout her entire life. But when a mage named Elias buys her saying she's a rare type of mage, things take a drastic turn. This happens in an alternative London, and is filled with mystical creatures and various sorts of magical arts. <laughs> The world building in this show is massive, and even if you dislike the fantasy elements, you're sure to like the character developments of Chisei and her relationship with Elias as the Magnus Bride. This is also one of those shows that proved what great anime writing looks like, so don't miss out on this one. This feeling... What is it called? Violet's Evergarden We've been speaking about happy slice of life anime, but what about a sad slice of life anime? Can they make you cry? Yeah, they can make you fill buckets with tears. Violet Evergarden is a story about love and life, and it tells the story of Violet, an auto-memory doll, who returns back after the war to blend back into society. But as she arrives, she still holds the memory of three words her former captain said to her before her death. I love you. The narrative then moves forward to explain how Violet does her daily chores, but also learns a very important lesson about life, and gradually starts to understand the meaning of the words her captain said. Once again, don't go to watch this anime without a box of tissues, because you're going to cry, and you're going to cry a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Number 1. Anohana Does this even need an introduction? When you think of sad anime, 
one of the first things that comes to your mind is Anohana. Anohana takes a closer look at the delicate topics of friendship, life, and how to come to terms with it. It features a group of childhood friends who lost one of their friends, Minma, at a young age. As the group grows into teenagers, they start to drift apart further and further, but they still harbor feelings of guilt towards Minma's death. Now back as a ghost, Minma finds that she is unable to move on until she helps her friends come to terms with her death and get them back together as a group. If you want to know what sadness and heartache looks like, then Anohana is the show for you. This will twist your feelings in a whole new direction, and by the end of the show, you'll be shedding bucket loads of tears. So there goes 10 of the best slice of life anime of the decade. As usual, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be updated as soon as we release a new video. Stay safe anime fans, and I'll see you in the next one.